Yesterday we caught a train all the way from Carcassonne up here to Montpellier. We ended up staying quite far away from the city in an effort to save some money. <laughs> oh, and we've ended up in the industrial district, which means there's no real shops around. It's gonna take us about an hour to get into the city before we get to see everything it has to offer. We are already obsessed with this town though. It's so cute with all of the buildings. There's people riding their bikes around. I don't know, it's a really nice vibe. It is such a beautiful day here in Montpellier. So we're loving just walking through all of the quaint little streets and all of the pretty little buildings. Apparently there's an Arc de Triomphe here, which I didn't know was a thing outside of Paris. So that's where we're going now. after the one in Paris which is awesome because we don't get to go to Paris on this trip to France so it's cool to get to see it. and just across the road from it is this awesome promenade with these leafy green avenues and an awesome statue of King Louis XIV. And I think there's another building at the end of it which looks pretty cool too, so we'll go check that out. Yeah, confirm, it's a pretty cool building. <laughs> and there's a dog having a swim in the lake. I love it. normally people that would be like oh there's a cathedral somewhere let's go there but after the one in Carcassonne we're kind of interested <laughs> yeah if it's anything like the Carcassonne one oh beautiful we just get to walk through the beautiful streets of Montpellier on this amazing day and then I think we're gonna have a picnic in the Botanic Gardens
realise how pretty basilicas and stuff are. There's something about the massive arch of the roof and the stained glass windows. It's just crazy beautiful. Cathedrals are quickly becoming some of my favourite buildings to see wherever you are. They are so impressive, so tall. We were planning on going to the Botanic Gardens for a picnic lunch, but apparently the gardens don't open until midday. So we've just come back to the leafy green promenade. We decided to get some cheese and crackers to have a little picnic. One thing we didn't really think about was that we don't have a knife. So cutting the cheese has been interesting. I'm going for more of a ripping technique. Jordan's just tried shoving a chip in and using that. Coming to Europe in summer has been a bit tight on our budget because all of the accommodations has obviously bumped up a little bit. So doing things like this helps to bring it down a little. Good portion control. We have loved Montpellier, but sadly that's all the time we have here. Moving quickly through Europe, off to our next place tomorrow. What's that?